YouTube. Today on The Naughty Librarian, we are going to go through the worst books I read in 2017. Small disclaimer, these are the worst books that I personally read this year, so I'm not saying these books came out this year, but they're the ones I read this year that were pretty bad. All right, let's just start this shit show. First up, I have two different books by Laura Lee. First I have Maverick, and the next I have Styx's Storm. Didn't like either of them. They're just bad. Honestly, I did a whole video and I'll post the link down below of how much I disliked Maverick. Oh my goodness gracious. They're just, she's just not the author for me. I understand that she's very popular and she's written tons of books, so obviously people like her. I am just not one of them, but like, I just, I, I, I just did not like these at all. I hated all the characters to an intense amount. <laughs> Not for me, maybe for someone else, but oh, they are just really not for me. They're bad. They're bad. I can't even pretend they're like half okay because they're not. They're just bad. <laughs> Next up, I have Naked by Rain Miller. This is the first uh, book of the Blackstone Affair series, and uh, I will not be continuing on in the series because this was terrible. <laughs> I really did not enjoy it like at all. Too many books are like this where basically the guy is a creepy stalker dude and is supposed to be romantic that he's a fucking creepy stalker and it's not. Like stalking is not romantic. Stop making it look romantic because it's not. I was just, I was, I was out. I was not into it. I did not like any of the characters. It's, it's just, it's just not for me. It's bad. I did not like it. Maybe some other people do, but I, I am not one of them. It's just bad. Next up, I have I Married a Billionaire by Melanie Marchand. Every time I see the title, I cannot not say it that way. And it's, it's just bad. Like, I felt like nothing was really explained. Like, it's just these characters existing. So, like, the time frame made logical sense. But, like, why were the characters doing anything? I still don't know. Like, their motivations were just never discussed. And it's just... This is wildly unoriginal. It's just like another one of those uh, marriage of convenience stories, which I mean, when you do it good, you do it really good. Like I've seen good ones and I've seen bad ones. Sadly, this is one of the bad ones. I did not like it. Next up, I have More of Me by Katherine Evans. Uh, this was an arc, but I don't foresee the final book changing all that much. <laughs> and um, I wanted to like it because it has a cool idea Essentially, there's this girl and like every year on her birthday, instead of like getting older, she like sprouts a new version of herself. So all of like the younger versions are forever that age. So like there's an eight year old Tiva and then there's a 15 year old Tiva and then a four year old Tiva. There's all these different age Tivas. Basically, she just like mitosis herself on her birthday, <laughs> which sounds awesome. But all of this was bad. The characters, I just didn't care about them by the end. Like, I didn't think they were interesting. It was just, it was just a bucket of suck. They could have focused on really cool stuff and they just focused on like, man, this boy doesn't like me. Not like, bitch, you're gonna split in two. Like, there's bigger shit to worry about. Next up I have, but then I came back by Estelle Laurie, this book. Like, I feel like I am too old. To deal with this book. Like every time I would turn a page I was full like Lucille Bluth just mm-hmm. Yeah I was just side-eyeing and drinking. This is how I felt the entire time. Like maybe if I was younger I would like it but I doubt it because it doesn't make a lick of sense. Essentially this girl is in a coma and then like she comes out of her coma and then like there's a boy she likes, and then when she was in her coma, she somehow connected to another coma patient. So, I like, is this paranormal or is it not? Because I cannot tell. Like, it was, it didn't go one direction or another. Again, this was an arc. However, I don't think the final product probably changed all that much, but, uh, <laughs> like, full Lucille Bluth, I could not even with this. Like, I just, uh, children, whatever. Next up, I have Beautiful Darkness by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. This is book two of the Beautiful Creatures series, and it was awful. Like, nothing happens in this book. Nothing. 
It was so bad, I was actively rooting against the main couple. I did not want them to be together. I was rooting for Ethan, he's the male lead, to get with this other girl. Like, I did not want him to be with Lena, who's a female lead for the whole series. I wanted him to break up. I wanted the series just to end where he leaves her and is happy because he's miserable with her. Why is he with her? The whole thing was stupid, nothing happens. And they're just, it's just terrible. Like, why, why, why? I mean, maybe it gets better later on, but it's just like, I'm so fully disliked these characters that I can't like, want to bother to finish the series. Next up, I have Moon Chosen by PC Cast. So this was a book that like, I pride read because I had won it in a contest and I felt like if I didn't con like, finish reading it, it would have been like, wasting my victory. So I like, powered through it and it was bad. It was 600 pages of garbage. It was bad. It doesn't make a lot of sense because it's about dogs. I mean, how much could I hate something about dogs? But apparently I can hate things about dogs quite a bit because I hate this. <laughs> Mari, the main character, is the worst. Honestly, she has such an odd way of talking that I was reading all of her dialogue as if she was Forrest Gump by the end of the book. So it was post-apocalyptic Forrest Gump. That's how I felt about it. I just could not stand it. I mean, there's dogs. Like, how did I hate the dog book? And, I, and they found a way to make me hate it. There are two books I DNF'd this year just because I, I just couldn't be bothered to finish them. They were that bad. The first of which is Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart. I got like 70% of the way through this and like, I couldn't force myself to finish. I get it, the artistic choices. It's just, it's the talented Mr. Ripley, backwards with girls. Like, that's that's it. Like, it's, it, there's nothing really original about it. The fucking murder weapon is the same. Like, <laughs> it's like, I have, I have read this book and seen this movie, and now I'm reading it backwards with teen girls. Why? Why am I doing this to myself? I think the idea to have it be backwards would make things more mysterious. You're like, oh, why is this happening? But the question is, why is this happening? I have no context for any event that I read because it's backwards. Like, I don't care why the characters are doing anything. I don't know who they are. So I think it just, it didn't work. It didn't work for me. Maybe it worked for other people, but it did not work for me. Also, I just gave up on Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. I know this is a beloved series, but it's just terrible. Like, I try to read at least 50% of a book before I can like DNF it and like I read like 25% of this and like couldn't I couldn't go on <laughs> or the main character Tally it's just obnoxious and like everything is so dumbed down in it that like I just I couldn't I couldn't deal like the the name of the town they live in is called New Pretty Town like that's like name your goldfish fish like try. I don't get it. <laughs> you know, this is a very popular series. A lot of people have read it and loved it. However, I think they probably read it and loved it when they were much younger <laughs> because as an adult, th this is garbage. But I mean, a lot of people like it, so maybe it's me. All right. Now, the worst book I read this year should not come as a surprise. The worst book I read was The Bourbon Kings by J.R. Ward. I have mentioned this a couple times, how much I loathe this book with the fire of a thousand suns. It's the worst garbage I have ever read. Here's the deal, okay? Like, when I don't like a book, I don't try to make it personal with the author. Like, okay, maybe they wrote bad characters. It's the character's fault. It's not like they, they're bad writers. It's just I didn't like the story. No, this one I'm just like, J.R. Ward, you need to go to your room and think about what you did, because it's unacceptable. <laughs> there are so many problems with this that it, like it hurts my soul to think of. Basically, they sensationalized like a graphic rape, and it's like, no, 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 that's not okay. Like 0% of this, they're, they're all scumbag people, and reading about them, it made me feel dirty on the inside. So I don't know, maybe that means she's in a wonderful author and that was the intent of the book, but I don't think it was because a lot of people just like this. And I'm like, I am not friends with a lot of people for that reason, because this is bad. <laughs> like, it's so bad I'd end a friendship. Like, that's how much I despise it. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk about this book anymore because I've talked about it, how much I despise it enough, but I had to just say it one more time. 
Oh my gosh, it's so bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop hating on books now. <laughs> overall, 2017 wasn't so bad for books. I mean, I did read some books I didn't like, but I think overall my list of books that I didn't like is much shorter than the list of books that I freaking loved. So I call it a win. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books. Did you like them or did you also dislike them like me? Please let me know what your opinions are down in the comments below. What are your worst books of 2017? Let me know down below so I can know to avoid them in 2018. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys soon.